The SEC is up to their old tricks again. I'm going to get into what is really happening. I don't think there's a lot of people that connect that can connect the dots. I will do that for you gladly. All right, right now, SEC is pursuing legal campaign to classify Ethereum as a security. Uh, have we not heard that before? Where have we heard that ripple? Yeah, I'm going to get into that as well. But right now, here, I'm going to read off a tweet right now from DB uh, Tier 10K on Twitter. He says the ex uh, Securities and Exchange Commission is waging an energetic legal campaign to classify Ethereum, the second most popular cryptocurrency, as a security according to U.S. companies that have received subpoenas related to an investigation. Uh, the news delivers further blow to crypto industry's hopes. The agency will approve applications by BlackRock and others for an Ethereum ETF following the SEC's approval of a series Bitcoin ETF in January. Hmm. So what is going on here? Yes, if BlackRock is considering a spot Ethereum ETF, all right? But here's what BlackRock did the other day. Uh, BlackRock launched a digital asset fund, deposits $100 million of uh, USDC on the Ethereum network. Now, BlackRock launches tokenized asset fund on Ethereum blockchain. This is according to Velo. So what is happening here? We have Larry Fink. He owns the SEC. If you don't know how your government actually works, they're bought and paid for. So BlackRock owns the world. You probably heard that before. It is very true. So what is happening right now? So Larry Fink's probably like, hey, uh, SEC, can you just put out some FUD saying, you know, we're, gonna try to, we're trying to uh, declare Ethereum as a security, just like they did with XRP and Zach X. BT on Twitter, he says against this, um, they couldn't even defeat XRP, LOL. Uh, SEC should actually focus on going after bad actors instead of burning money and resources going after legitimate teams. But you, under you have to understand, the SEC has unlimited funding. They don't care. They're bought and paid for. They're little puppets. That's, that's what, when I hear people saying like, get rid or fire Gary Gensler. Really guys, do you understand who actually owns Gary Gensler? It's central banks. It's BlackRock. So what's going to happen? They're probably going to drag the price down. Larry Fink is going to buy a crap ton of Ethereum because he understands that Ethereum's not going anywhere, then the price of Ethereum, in my opinion, is going to skyrocket. And all these people who got fudded out of this scary, scary news lost out big time. And it's the same tactics over and over again. So you have to understand how your government works. They are working against you. They are working with BlackRock. They are working with Vanguard and so on. So many other institutions. It's ridiculous. So with that said, I wouldn't worry one bit. It's actually no news. Okay. But I know a lot of people are scared. They're looking on Twitter going, oh my gosh, Ethereum, it's horrible now. Bull crap, bull crap. Okay. Let's move on to some important news. We have $326 million of outflows yesterday. And that was the biggest single day of outflows that we've had so far. And that put a lot of pressure on uh, crypto. And also, you know, what's happening right now is Grayscale is getting rid of pretty much all their Bitcoin or a lot of Bitcoin. Uh, they're probably not gonna get rid of all of it, but you know what, who cares if they do? Like good riddance because nobody needs uh, Grayscale anymore. Nobody, right? Because guess who's taking the, taking the place of trying to become uh, the biggest holder of Bitcoin. It's the big institutions, BlackRock. All right. So here's what BlackRock has in store for buying. Here's a bid. There are $720 million in bids at exactly $59,408. Um, so if Bitcoin goes down that low, which I doubt it's going to go that, that low, but if it does, guess who's going to be buying it? BlackRock. 
<laughs> so the same story and over and over again. You know who's buying and they are front running everybody else that's about to enter the market. So you know what? This is why I'm incredibly bullish. If you follow me at uh, on Twitter at Sir Crypto Tips, you will know exactly what I'm feeling on a daily basis. I'm very vocal. And also, if you want to see what we are buying, actively buying all the time, especially in the AI space, I would highly suggest you check out learningcrypto.com, home of the CT Club. Um, anyways, that's all I have. Please like and subscribe. Relax and enjoy the fireworks because a lot of people, a lot of leveraged players are going to get liquidated. That's all I have. Please like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.